G'day, we are in the brewery today and yesterday I received this package in the mail, a fillometer. And I'll be up front, I did not pay for this. 99% um, of the stuff on this channel I pay for, but if ever I don't, this was a gift uh, for me to review. Uh, it's not a paid review at all, uh, but I'm just mentioning that I did not pay for this. It is a fillometer, that's what they're calling it, uh, which is a flow meter. Uh, it's a little bit different from some other flow meters, as I'm pretty sure it has some sort of solenoid in it. So you can set um, that you want 50 litres out, and I'm assuming you press the button and start, and then it'll stop when you get to your 50 litres. We will try that out today. Uh, we'll open the box and have a quick look. So that's the unit there. Uh, I can see on the back. That's the inlet, it also has a filter, and that's your outlet, and it takes power supply ah, in the bottom there. Looks like it has mounting screws so you could mount it onto something on the wall or the side of your uh, brew bench or something. And I'm guessing this will be the power supply. That is the power supply, and it is... 24 volts, one and a half amp power supply. Nice long cord by the looks of it too, which is always handy. So I have seen mentioned in places that, you know, Bunnings have cheap ones. As far as I've seen, the cheap one that people keep posting doesn't do what this does. Uh, and that's the automatic turn off, uh, shut off for when you get to the uh, amount you want. But we'll see, we'll give it a go. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll cross our fingers and hope and hope I have some fittings. They actually look like, I thought they might've been tap fittings, but they look like half inch fittings. I could be wrong, but we'll find out. If they're half inch fittings, how can I tell? I guess one way to tell is I have my pump here. People will say, have you got that hand tight again? Yeah, most of my things are hand tight. Uh, yes, that's what it is, all right. So there you go. It's your normal sort of half inch fitting that you find with most of your brew gear. And of course, you can probably get hose fittings connectors. Now I think the ones on my uh, immersion chiller video I made the other week uh, will fit onto these, so I might use those. I'll have a look. Magic of television, and I'm pretty sure they will fit. That's what they will be. And yes, they fit on fine. Uh, I can tell that they'll probably benefit from some plumber's tape. So I'll do that, and we'll give it a test out. Before I go out and get dirty, I'll read through the instructions. Mount in position away from rain, weather and direct sun. Uh, press start, stop to turn off. Uh, filling mode off. Press up, down key to set water amount of water you need. Press start, stop to start water flow. One specific water amount has been filled. The fillomatic, the fillometer will shut off water supply and display total water used. It's got a fail safe, so if for any reason the power turns off, the water flow will stop. Yeah, power supplied on 24 volts, flow range of 1 to 30 litres per minute, temperature range of 0 to 40 Celsius, um, so you wouldn't be using it for wort or anything like that, even if you wanted to, or hot wort. You probably wouldn't be using this with wort anyway. Uh, pressure rating of 0 to 12 bar or 0 to 180 psi. Accuracy uh, plus or minus 5%. Accuracy can be improved with stable flow. Repeated stop start or variation in water supply can have a negative effect on accuracy. That's just about like any flow meter. Um, yeah, that's it. So we turn it on. If you press the set button, it moves the value number up the top along. So I've moved along to the tens of liters and we'll put it up to 50 liters to fill my HLT.
If you press the menu button, it seems to turn the backlight off and on of the display. So I've hooked it up roughly just for the first go. I wouldn't normally use that green hose and I've clamped the hose to the top of the Brusilla so it doesn't go flying. Turn on the hose. Just check it's not running, nothing's happening. So we press start. And we're off. We're going at about 15 litres a minute. So we look inside. I didn't have the mic running here, but that's not very important. You can see the flow starts. There's a little bit of a uh, air bubble in there from me shifting the hoses around before. Speed the camera up a bit. It's about four times the speed. Okay, we're getting up there. It's going nice and fast since it's not going through the trigger of in my usual trigger hose holder. It's usually much slower. Yeah, this will be interesting. I'll have to run out and turn it off if it doesn't shut off. Now I think my... We should measure about 51 for 50 litres, if I remember rightly. Or was it 49? We'll soon find out. Alright, see it's stopped off. Maybe it was 49. There you go. Okay, well that's... A, that's Wow. If you have a look at my video on... Um, my water measurements for my Brusilla was out by a litre, so I think we've done pretty good there. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to put in another another six litres and we'll get it up to 55, the marker 55 there. Just so it's easy on brew day, I can do my calculation, Joe, I'll mash in 20 litres and I'll have 35 litres left and I usually have to put 15 litres in. Um, something like that anyway, for a brew day. So I just clear it out and put it to six litres. Off we go again. And this is real time, it's just to show how fast it is. It's quite fast when you don't have a trigger nozzle on the end of it. And just to clear up that 49 litre thing, my Brazilla was out by a litre. But it's a uniformly out by a litre all the way up. On the day I just couldn't remember whether it was a litre up or a litre down. It doesn't really affect me because I use between about 55 and 10 litres on a normal brew day. So it doesn't matter. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I didn't even think it would actually be that accurate. That went really well. Um, I'd actually pre-recorded two endings, a good ending and a not so good ending for the product. I mean, usually if they're really bad, I won't bother even uploading a review for something but that went so well that I thought I'm just going to chuck a bit on the end like this without setting up properly and hopefully the wind isn't blowing in on the microphone but that went really well now of course you'd have to trust it I'd trust it after that little test um, I'd probably have better fittings rather than it just being clamped to the side of my HLT um, and I'd probably test the, the uh, power out turn off. It's apparently it automatically shuts off when the power goes out or, you know, someone pulls the cord or something. But that was really, that was more accurate, way more accurate than I thought it would be. I'll be buying another food safe hose, I think, and using it more often. Like, I would, personally, I still wouldn't sort of walk out of the brewery and go and have lunch or something but if you're hanging around you know and doing things and milling grain and getting things ready that's when people forget about it or they might get call, a phone call or something and things overflow this is like a backup I know a few people that could use this <laughs> I will mention I wouldn't use the normal green plastic hoses except I didn't want to cut up 
my good food safe hose uh, just yet till I tested things and that and I'll probably go and buy another one anyway but uh, and flush your hoses because you can have bugs and cockroaches or whatever ants get in them um, and you don't want those whenever you've got a filter on something then you know, that could clog up but you have got a filter on here to uh, you know prevent it getting in there and stuffing things up but it's always a good idea flush the hoses out especially if you're using those old dodgy green hoses give them a good flush out before you use them um, if you're as old as me well, I hope everyone remembers when you, when you used to drink out of those green hoses and get that, that hose taste. You don't really want that in your beer. Um, but that's, you know, that's one of the upgrades you throw in later when you've got nothing to buy anything. What can I buy for the brewery? Food grade hose is, is a, good, a, a really good um, thing to buy. Make sure, gives you peace of mind and you know you don't get that green ho uh, hose flavour. Especially in summer when everything's hot. Anyway, cheers. I thought that I'd add that on the end. That's pretty cool. Worked really, really well. Cheers. Like, subscribe, share, and thanks to my patrons. For without them, these videos couldn't happen. You should thank them too. <laughs> Cheers.